It's your boy Sid and welcome to the Dallas Cowboys for Life channel. I want to thank everyone who's taking the time to subscribe and view my videos. And if you haven't clicked that subscribe button below, click it right here. And please don't forget to click that notification bell so that way when your boy Sid uploads new content, you get that notification. Now guys, before I get started, I want to send a shout out to my boy Jay Tuck. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to his channel yet, go check him out. Cowboys fans only Trust me very knowledgeable guy. I spoke to this guy a few times already and please be sure to check back on both our channels later We're gonna be doing collaboration together and you definitely are not gonna want to miss that So definitely come and check that out now guys Also before I get started. I just want to bring up something everything I do on this channel is because of the fact that It's my opinion and my opinion only um, I do what I do because of my love for the Cowboys and I want to continue to follow my father's footsteps who also love the Cowboys and this is a way for me to express how I feel about how the team's doing, the changes that are coming on and so on. I'm not an expert but I do what I do because I just want to voice my opinion about the team that I love. So with that being said, I was watching um, the late night hype with uh, Big Game James and Law Nation and Skywalker and uh, they had done a schedule release and they were talking about how to think the Dallas Cowboys will do and of course I voiced my opinion. I put the Cowboys winning 12 games losing 4. Now after looking at the schedule and thinking back about a few things I said wait a minute I think I'm gonna have to change my opinion and I'm sorry to say but I see the Cowboys most likely doing 11 and 5. Now, the game that made me change my mind is actually our first game against the Rams, uh, week one. Uh, we've always seemed to be going back and forth with the Rams. Uh, we won last year. Two years before that, we lost twice in a row, back to back. And then we won against them four years ago. And every year before that, it seems like win one, lose one, win one, lose one. So, guys, this is my opinion only. Um, and again, I think that's a game that's gonna make make us or break us. It's the first game of the year um, You got to work that rust out and you know both teams Obviously are gonna have rust to get out But we all seem always seem to have a little bit of trouble against the Rams. So that's the game that made me change my mind um, The other game I had to have us struggling against and most likely losing is against Seattle I don't know what it is. We always Seattle seems to be like our kryptonite I feel so that's the game that I feel that will give us probably our second loss going into the season um, Another game that I'm worried about is actually against Pittsburgh November 8th and guys be sure um, To check it out your boy Sid is gonna be in the Dallas Stadium watching that game uh, Dallas Cowboys against Pittsburgh um, So that's the other game that has me worried Minnesota that's another game that has me worried. And of, of course, the game December 3rd, that's gonna be a huge game um, against Baltimore. That's gonna be, wow. I'm looking forward to that game. I'm not looking forward to it so fast because obviously it's close to the end of the season, but that's a game that's gonna be definitely, definitely interesting. So guys, this is me voicing my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Do you agree that um, the Cowboys will be going 11, 11 and 5. Let me know your comments below. Keep checking out my channel. I'm going to be hosting guests on my channel soon. I want to have guests coming on and talking about the Cowboys with me, doing, uh, voicing their opinions and so on. So be sure to check back in and I will let you guys know exactly how to reach out to me so we can make that happen. Leave your comments below. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. It's your boy Sid. And I'm out.